We provide communications for the army. We connect the army over various systems. We detect the enemy using cyber signals, intelligence and electronic warfare. And we protect our personnel and information from cyber, electronic attacks and also physical attacks. We can deploy anywhere in the world and provide internet connections. Without the raw signals, the army wouldn't be able to communicate with each other. Orders wouldn't be able to be passed from the very highest level down to the guys on the ground. And that would inhibit the army's ability to act. I've always been into computers as I've been growing up. I've been quite a technically minded person, so I know the signals is quite, a, quite an advanced core to join. When you think about broadband, obviously you talk about the, the faster networks, and obviously the army needs a fast network for itself to keep up with the pace of the tours in Afghan and places like that. We've done everything from just switching the phones when the phones were broke to the cables to actually looking after the network. Being an engineer, I mean, had lots of pre-deployment training, so I knew my job. It was something brand new that I'd learned from people that love, absolutely love computers. I learned all the real life skills I need. Quite a few opportunities to get away, a bit of downtime, adventure training. When I went skiing, I got my foundation skiing qualification. You wouldn't get these opportunities in your normal civilian job. I can't see myself doing anything else, to be honest. I love my job. During your training, you'll get some qualifications. We get balls in fibre optics and networking as well. You can pretty much walk into a, a kind of network engineer job. You're learning something new every day, meeting new people all the time, you get to travel, and I'm very proud actually. <laughs> Anybody can join the signals really, I'd say do it, go for it. <laughs>